five, four, three, two, one. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching J Hand Four. How's that for an intro? <laughs> anyway guys, I'm back here, I'm Jan the Bomb, I'm back here at Pandan Reservoir. No! Oh look at that lizard. Do you guys see the lizard? Ah. And in the wild, you will see a male lizard enter Pandan Reservoir. Oh yeah, so what was I? Yeah. No fancy stuff today, no pole rod, no lonely Leo episode. Just me fishing, hoping to catch some fish, some peacock bass, or tilapia, or the resident arowana. So yeah, I'll be fishing today with Travis, he'll be here shortly. So I'm just gonna start fishing first and hopefully we'll We'll catch some fish. So stay tuned. Fish on. Yeah. First fish of the day. Not a fighter this one. <laughs> he's not even swimming anywhere. <laughs> okay, okay, he's getting feisty now. Hey. Okay. Small one, eh? I, think I can just leave him up. There we go. Okay. First fish for today. Not a biggie, but it's pretty nice fish. Quick picture and letting it go. So, let the gate go, go fishy go, swim away. Oh, fish on again. Wow, these guys are just on a roll today. Look at that. Wow, nice, 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 nice. Okay, let it run a little bit more. Reeling you in. Looks like the same one actually. <laughs> Not really sure. It's around the same size. Maybe slightly bigger this one. Yeah, I think it's slightly bigger. Wow! Back to back, man! Having a pretty good day today. Upper lip. There we go, second fish for today. Back to back, less than. Um, oh, just one cast away actually. Again on the homemade. Fly jig head thing. Nice fish. Might be the same fish, I'm not sure. I will take a picture and compare. Oh, wait, I didn't take a full body shot, so I can't compare anything. Slightly bigger fish for today, I think. Can't really tell. Alright, letting it go now. And letting it go to Okay. Hey guys. 
Travis is here and my action cam just like won't start up. Just stuck on the startup screen. Travis is here. Say hi Travis. Hello. Oh my god, the focus is terrible. Yeah, I just missed one fish and um, I'll update you guys if I catch anything else. If any of you got any solutions to solve my stupid um, action cam problem, please uh, leave a comment below or recommend me a new action cam. Except for a GoPro, because GoPros are expensive. I'm still waiting for a tilapia poop. Shut up. That's Travis. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so we'll update you guys if we catch anything. He's on his... He brought his uh, pole rod today, so... Things could get interesting. Maybe. I hope. So yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Bye. And yeah. Unfortunately for both Travis and I, we both did not land anything after that shot was taken. And Travis also broke off the tip of his storm discovery rod. And he's pretty bummed about that. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to the Be A Genius episode 5, I think. Anyway, in this episode where I teach you things I don't know how to do myself, I'm going to teach you how to make one of these jig head fly things. Focus, 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 yeah. I used this in a previous video and also in this video and it seemed to work pretty well for the peacock bass in Singapore so you guys can go ahead and try and make this yourself so what you guys need is a cutter, pen knife, scissors, razor blade or in this case I'm using a pair of pliers some super glue a jig head, I'm using a small 3 gram jig head you can use a oh what's this? You can use a whatever size you want. Some thread. I'm using cotton thread, and also some of this um, shiny material. I bought this from TCE Tackles, and it cost me sixty cents with my membership discount. So first, what you do is you take the jig head and you do not do anything. You just throw it down. <laughs> Okay, you take like a, I guess, for me, I use about three pieces of, three strands of this shiny material. So you put the rest one side, just three strands. What you do is you line them up nicely so that they're all even. Okay, there you go. So you line them up nicely where the ends touch each other. It's okay if you're not exactly not exactly flushed. After you take the ends, you put them together. Take your jig head, line it nicely. You can leave a little bit of leeway out. Not sure you can see. Can you focus, focus? Yeah, you can leave a little bit out or you can push it in closer if you like. If you're more confident. Next, you take your thread. Take your thread. You hold down the thread with your one of your hands. Since this hand is free now, you can go ahead and start twirling it around. I do about five to six rounds for the initial ones. Oh crap! That didn't go so well. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay, then you just roll, 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 roll. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten reps, just in case. Okay, pull it tight. There you have it. Then now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna estimate how long you want your 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 fly to be. So I normally get about a cm off the hook the hook base about this much. Now I just fold it into the jig steps. I just mumbled there so 
crap. Okay, my battery just died on me just now. So where was I? Oh, right. So once you create a loop, just hold it down and go around 5-6 rounds again. Okay, let me see. Yeah, 5-6 rounds. Then, from this one, just hold the, the rest of the shiny stuff. You fold it down to around where you want the tail to be again. And then you repeat the process of just tying it. Just go round and round, overlap the line a little bit. And repeat the process of just folding it down. Folding it down. And you hold on to the, the end. Then you just repeat the process. So yeah, just keep doing this until you get all the the loops on this side. And then I'll teach you what to do next. So yeah, let me fast forward this a little bit. Okay. So when you're done with all the the loops, this is roughly what you get with some of the ends still sticking out. Then what you do next is um, you cut off the line, the, the thread, just cut it out. Cut enough so that you can tie a hitch knot or a half hitch. So you go one loop like that, create a loop. Nice loop, right? And you put the, the tag end, you put tag end through. Can't see this. So you put a loop. Put the tag end through the loop and you pull it out into itself. Pull it out into itself. Okay, let's do that again. Put another loop. The loop is here. Put the tag end through. Got struggling with this. Right. And then you just oh crap, that wasn't meant to happen. Can't really see this with the camera in my face. Make the loop, put the tag end through, and then just pull. I usually do about two or three of these um, these knots. Then once you're done, you can cut off this uh, this remaining of the red thread. I normally just um, leave a bit inside, leave a bit onto the. See, that's how I do it. So it looks like a, a trail of blood. <laughs> then, what you do next is you see you have all these loops, right? So, what you do is you just cut all the loops. You can cut them exactly dead straight center to get them even, even um, strands of tails. Or you can cut them slightly off center to get one short, one long. That's what I normally do. I just cut a few evens and a bunch of off center tails so that uh, it'll look more more brushy, I guess. More messy and then it'll flash slightly differently. You just snip off all the loops. Snip, snip, snip. Can't see the loops. Okay, almost done, almost done. Okay. A few more loops to go. This is definitely easier to do with a uh, scissors, definitely. And once you're done, you have an almost completed chick head fly. Looks pretty nice now, right? Now you can trim some of this if you want. I just leave it as it is. And then uh, the last part of this whole thing would be to just apply the super glue onto the red thread. 
So what this does is it both um, binds the whole thread thing together and it also prevents the thread from coming out. So just put like two or three drops in. Let it soak in, let it soak in. And And there we go. Just leave it to dry and you have a jig fly, I guess. What I have done with mine is uh, I've created this bunch of flies. Just stick it into some masking tape to let it dry. And there you go. That's how I create my version of the jig fly and I hope this video helps you, hopefully. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. And that's all for me today. Tight lines and smiley face. Good night.